ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we are continuing our Austrian campaign. It is February 1930. Man, time has really flown by in this campaign. It's, it's pretty insane, actually. Um, this campaign went so fast compared to some of the other ones. I love it. My war against the French is still happening. A naval invasion has been announced. Ooh, what's that? Okay, that's weird. We have some battleships. Well, fairly big amount of ships here being repaired. Let's deploy the submarine at once. Let's make it the French as hard as possible as we hit our first end turn of the day, I think. Indeed, minus 40 million right now, but that's also because we are repairing a lot of ships. Well, not even that many, uh, but we're out repairing two battleships, two battle cruisers. Um, that's actually a lot. We're not building a lot. We're repairing a lot. I don't want that. All right. Let's get going. All right. There we go. Turn has passed. As tempting as it is to have an alliance with the Germans, let us not do so straight away. Well, I guess we have to kill a cruiser to begin today. All right. Let's do a test. I'm keeping my fleet in formation here today. I want to see what happens. Only two divisions are not in formation anymore. One destroyer group to draw away enemy torpedoes. And of course the main battle cruiser line herself. All right, torpedo dodged with ease. It's only a single destroyer and a cruiser coming my way, so. E excuse me. I would have sworn you guys were on follow as well. Interestingly, you are not. Join up there, you guys. Join up there. Hey. Also terrifying that you're still not identified. There we go. Yeah. It works, I suppose. That's all that can be said about it. Okay. Target's destroyed. Ooh. A lot of crew members, uh, a lot of wounded. Germany had a minefield. And our naval invasion of southern Spain has once again commenced. 33%, but it will support the other invasions as well. I do want my Spain back. Everything else is secondary. Besides, there is not much else I can actually take from France, is there? Um, yeah, there really isn't. <laughs> I wish I could, but alas, it is not to be. Bloody French. They put up a nice fight, though. God, they put up a nice fight. So one month, then the one destroyer I'm building will be done. Repairs of my destroyers one month as well. Two months for the battle cruiser, the Otto. Seven months, my god, sir. That's a Richardis and a Rudolf class battleship as well. Both badly mauled. Hmm. Well, the Rudolphs, of course, are a 1909 design. They've got 16 and a half inch guns. <laughs> That's pretty insane for these small ships. Ricardus. 
16 inch or stuff got hit. Well, the 16 inch battleship. Let's see, what battleships can I actually build? I can still build Ricardus. However, as you can see immediately at the model, she is somewhat outdated. And then we have Frederick. We can build Frederick, but the thing is, Frederick is a very bloody expensive. Two, two, almost two and a half billion. I mean, Christ, in my other campaign, I'm building battleships around this time that are like 500 million. <laughs> Of course, that is very cheap. That is very, very cheap. Yeah. Ricardus, original hull, delete. No further use of that. Let's take a look at the, um, the other hull that we have available to us. My god, so what a monster. That is a monster. 74,000 tons. It's not even big, really. It's big for me, but it's not big. That said, I do want a small battleship. Modern, but small. In essence, something more akin to a light battleship I do want 30 knots short range is fine although let's get some oil in and keep turbines now keep turbines what can we do We could do something like that, and then, hold on, hold on, hold on, main guns, center line guns, 15 Mark III, 16 Mark III, 72, 18, 19, and 20 Mark I. Hello, 16. Do you fit? I mean, we could get a battleship with a lot of 16-inch guns this way. However, uh, let's get a heavier barbet up and running there. Thank you very much. Not a fan of the off tower, really. Although, these towers, they're so bloody big. Other alternative is a compact tower, but that's 3-3, three, three, yeah, no. The detection is so bad on those uh, other towers, even worse than this one. And we can do something like this. Turn it into a very small battleship, a very cheap battleship. But with 16-inch guns. I do like the idea. Now, let's see if we can balance her out a bit better. Why didn't you take the turret along, mate? Funnels. Okay, that is better. Let me grab my chair for a moment. I've been standing behind my computer for a while. Sitting gets boring after a, a certain amount of recording time, I admit. <laughs> okay. Um, I do want standard crew quarters on these. Sigismund. Is 
auxiliary two. Heavy bear bounce, please. Anti torp. Anti flood. Range finder. We're closing in at the uh, weight limit. So let's drop the armor down a bit. 21, 9, 12. Okay. Secondary guns. What kind of secondaries do I want on this ship? Two five inchers. Supported by four four inchers. Let's get some two inchers up as well. It's a nice secondary battery. Rather than Cordite 2, I'm going with 2 Powder TNT. We do have an aft weight offset. Let's increase 4 belts. For DAC, that is too much in terms of weight, my friends. Too much indeed. Huh. Okay. Lower the off deck, increase full deck. Works a bit. We're not quite there yet. Okay, we're below, well below what we want to spend. So let's do that. Hold on. Do we have a four weight offset now? Yeah, we do. There we go. Perfectly balanced. The pitch and the roll is pretty bad. That will be a disadvantage for this ship. I am aware. Can't get away with that. I should be able to get away with this, though. Yeah. 25 kilometer range, 16 inch guns. Less than 500 million. Yeah, I think that will be a useful ship for my fleet. I don't have a lot of money after all, so getting these as my new standard battleships. Would be a good thing. Would be a very good thing. Tick-tock, mm -hmm. tick-tock. These loading times, man. They're shite. Oh, there we go. So in terms of battleships, Sigismund will be my new main battleship um with all due respect frederick am i actually building you no do i have you i have one frederick class battleship the frederick others not really okay yeah i am totally gonna replace all these battleships i think from the Richardis to Rudolphs to Korns, Bohemia. I am totally going to replace them with my new one. In terms of costs. Let's see my new one, Sigismund. Yeah, she's overall cheaper than, than most of the others. And it's a 1930 design, so wow. Yes, sir. So the Otto 
how about scrapping the Otto immediately? She's badly damaged. It's a Ricardus class battleship. Not even sure if she's been upgraded. Um, yeah. Otto. Let's suspend let's suspend construction on you, repairs on you. Okay, and instead. Start building a Sigismund. Sure, that's 18 months, well, it's seven months to repair her, but I think this is the better idea. It is time to upgrade my fleet to the new, more modern standards. Same goes for my battle cruiser fleet. I have four of them. As the turns progress. Ooh, 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 ooh. One turn later, we are having a small battle cruiser duel on our hands. However, you might or might not remember my battle cruisers. Once they stop wiggling like an idiot, there we go. Hello. You have very lovely guns, don't you? 17 inch guns, my friends. These are Mark I guns. While not the greatest, they should be able to pack a punch. They should be able to do quite a bit of damage against our enemy. Who's also bringing a battle cruiser of unknown design? I've been spotted, I've been shot at. Five times speed. Enemy must be getting close, huh? Wham! Hello, hostile battle cruiser. Range 18 kilometers. Not really closing. But we're broadsiding. Broadsiding is good. Smoke up the destroyers, please. We're well within torpedo range. Aggressive torpedoes authorized. Long range torpedo attack. Fire at will. Oops. Wrong key. Just wanted to check if you launched. Detected torpedoes. That is a very long range detection for uh, for you. Okay. Won't be able to do anything with the destroyer torpedoes, that's for sure. Still, these ships, especially the shelf shoots say hell. That's a destroyer with five inch guns. In short, high explosives, we're going in. My battle cruiser took a hit on the main gun. Hashtag terrifying. We're 14 kilometers out. Shots out, no hits. Enemy battle cruiser, 25 knots. Enemy battle cruiser is actually a lot slower than I first thought. A lot slower indeed. 
That's good. Let's slow down to 25 knots, match her speed. Destroyers, let's do a dodge of the enemy guns. Sharp shoots to took a hit. Nothing too serious, but you did take him. Smoke up, please. Hopefully also covering the battle cruiser a bit. Eh, not really. The moment I hit, I win. However, the enemy is hitting more. A lot more. Still... Don't do that, AI. Don't do that. Out, out, talk. Come on. Show me what your 17-inch guns can do. Increase to flank again. Thank you. Reload is pretty damn long. <laughs> ah, come on. Three percent. Ah, lost sight. And then I reacquired her when I was in a turn. Talk about being unlucky. Okay. I can still do 30 knots more or less. Ooh. Nope. No hit. No serious hit anyway. Every time I'm like, ooh, damage. Oh, wait, that's only five inch guns doing some damage. Well, that sucks. In fact, my five inchers are essentially the only guns that hit and did something. Come on. Some chance to hit, range to target 12 kilometers. Target is acquired. Didn't really help though. Mm. Disappointing. A disappointing fight so far. Come about. Possibly one hit. One hit indeed. Enemy hits in return as well. But yeah, I did 3,500 uh, 3, damage with my salvo. And that's the thing. My ship it won't hit a lot, but when it hits, it will hurt. No flooding though, that is a bit of a shame. Still, her damage instability is 50% now, so that's pretty good. And no hits. Destroyed a casemate. Yeah, I lost a 5 inch her there. Come about. Destroyers, come about. What's your chance to hit me? 14%. Eh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Give me a volley. No. Nope. Give me a return volley. Alright, I'm tired. No hits. However, let's hope. My turn. Screwed up with the angle of the enemy vessel. Alright, 
come back about. Stand by for full broadside. Get rid of the debuff. Ready to rock. Full turn. No hits. Range to target, 13 kilometers. Enemy is doing 22 knots. Stop putting holes in my ship, please. It's a bit frustrating. <laughs> Ooh. Ricochet. 8% chance to hit. 26 knots, please. Own crew speed bonus going up now. It's not helping a lot, but it's helping something. Alright. Stand by to drop speed. 19 knots. Crew speed bonus, 30%. Ready to fire. On my mark. 40% crew speed bonus. Ah! Ladder aiming. Increase back up to full speed. Ah, that was a waste. And now I'm gonna get hit again. Nope, I did not. Good. Destroyers, you're in the wrong direction. Range to target. 11 kilometers. Two knots, please. Cruise speed going up. All right, knife range, please. We're going in. All ships. Let's close into ten kilometers. Enemy speed is 21.9 knots. Yeah, and frankly this is why I do not play with a lot of ships with big guns, even if there were Mark II or threes. Uh, it's just not my playstyle. I prefer slightly smaller diameter guns. Ooh, was that a plus 50? Was that you? No. 2% chance to hit. Range to targets, 9 kilometers. Did I forget to install a rangefinder? No, didn't. <laughs> My 6 inch guns are doing more damage I think by now. No, not really. Soon they will though. <laughs> I'm not sure what the chance to hit was, but I'm sure it wasn't big. Can't have been. Destroyers. 
5.5 kilometers and closing. Closing awfully fast, my friends. No luck. Activate torpedoes, it's, it's too risky, man. Turn off torpedo. Oh, shoots. Ah, just too late. Oh. She is turning towards my battlecruiser now, though. 2% chance to hit. Seriously? Torpedoes barely missed. Oh, good head on my battle cruiser. That's not nice. Come on, Frenchie. Forty percent chance to hit. Seventy percent chance to hit. Finish her off. Only a thousand damage. Well, and a flooding, of course, but still. That's not great. It was the... Well, I wouldn't say killing blow, but... Crippling blow, for sure. Stand by, 40% chance to hit, that's not great. And fire. And retreat. Jesus. What are you doing? Twelve percent chance to hit. My two inches blew up, it seems. Unlucky. Turrell. Smoke up. Prepare to ram. We need a flooding hit on the enemy, no matter the cost. Come on, Turrell. We're coming. You missed, sucker. You missed. Running course set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charge! I'm an Austrian destroyer. And I'm here to wreck you. So, Frenchy. Fourteen hundred damage, dumb. Enemy is hidden, though. Reacquired enemy battle cruiser. Oh, my God, hardly any flooding. Oh my god! Aggressive fire, all the guns. At least I got a crew speed bonus. That's sad, 2% chance to hit. Enemy has a 0% though. So in that regard, it's a draw. Chance to hit me. 
20? Oh dear. Ooh, you missed. She has a flooding on her control again. Down to a 10% chance to hit. Am I gonna risk sinking my own cr battle cruiser here? Um, how about let's not? Let's slowly turn away now. Enemy is doing 14 knots, so I am still faster. Or am I? Well, more or less equal. Chance to hit 0 0.2. Alright. We call it a draw. And I am not a fan of these 17 inchers. I'm just not. It's a Mark 1 gun. Of course, but still. What is the enemy doing? Shooting at me. For sure. Son, we're in trouble. Trouble, trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, the enemy is following me. Since we're both doing 14 knots, there is no way I can escape. Since I can't escape, I might as well turn to fight. Although I fear I may have made a mistake. Well, no, it was not a mistake. I still stand by the ram. Trying to take out that uh, enemy ship by ramming was actually a good idea. It was a good idea. However, sadly, she did not flood as I expected her to. It is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching. Join me next time to see how we will redesign this class of ship, because, oh my god, it's terrible. Until then, take care.